It's Pelle here today, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the ghost trail effect you guys saw in the preview. I thought this was a very very clean ghost trail effect, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys how to make it. And I hope you guys can see I'm really like trying to, you know, try out new things for every tutorial now, so uh, if you guys want me to make a certain effect or something like that, please comment that down below, or you guys could DM me on Instagram. Uh, to maybe send some examples and stuff like that. And if you guys don't know, I run the Editing Visuals website where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. And if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to check out the website. Now let's get into the tutorials. So here I'm in After Effects. I've added the footage I'm going to be showcasing this effect on. And I'm going to start off by rotor brushing out our artist here. So I'm going to rotor brush out Central C here. And if you guys don't know how to rotor brush, I have actually made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description down below. After you have rotor brushed, it's going to look something like this here. And what you're going to be doing is basically press Ctrl D to duplicate the uh, uh, rotor brush, and then you can delete the rotor brush effect on the bottom layer. Vignette for the bottom layer here. Just add a tiny vignette. You can use the default settings. It's not a big deal here. I just want the uh, uh, rotor brush and the uh, uh, ghost trail effect here to pop a lot more that's why I'm making the background a little bit more darker with the vignette and after that you're going to be duplicating the rotor brush layer so press ctrl D again and after you have duplicated your layer here we're going to be pre-composing this so you're going to be pre-composing it you can name it ghost trail and here we're going to start off by adding pixel motion blur and I'm going to set the shutter angle to 500 and then the shutter samples to 15. And with that we're going to get this yeah, motion blur effect on our rotor brush. And after that I'm going to be adding time warp RGB. And you guys don't need to add this effect if you guys don't want to add just thought it was a pretty cool touch to have to your ghost trail effect. After that I'm going to be adding echo. And here on echo time I'm going to set the seconds to minus 0.0. .0. 75 and after that set the echoes to 15 and then I'm gonna set the echo operator to screen and then I'm going to drag down the decay so I'm gonna set it to 0 0.75 so this is the look we have for the moment after that if you want to add a color to your ghost trail effect you can add four color gradient here I'm going to go with a baby blue here copy it to the other color positions then blending mode set it to color it's going to look something like this. Then you can change the blending mode of the whole pre compare to screen. This is how it's going to look so far. I'm now back two, three hours later after my camera died, but uh, we're going to be continuing with the tutorial here. In my opinion, it looks a little bit too white on some parts, and how to get rid of that is basically to go to echo operator here, and then you can change it to screen. And now it's going to lo be looking something like this. This already looks insanely good in my opinion. And for the final touch, I'm going to be making a adjustment layer. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here I'm going to be adding Deep Low. I'm going to set the radius to 650. Then the exposure, drag it down a little bit. 0 0.6, something like that. Looks very bright now. You guys can also add curves. I'm going to be dragging this above the Deep Low effect. And then increase the contrast a little bit. And we're going to be checking how it looks. And yeah, as I said in the beginning, this is a extremely heavy effect, but I think the, I mean, the result here is going to be uh, pretty, really good. It's going to look something like this. I think it looks super, super cool. And I usually show the whole effect, the whole pre preview of the effect in the, in alt effects here. But uh, for this effect, I mean, I'm happy my computer isn't on fire now because this is a <laughs> extremely heavy effect. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I can show a preview up on the screen. It's a preview guys on the beginning. There are some small adjustments, maybe too bright, drag on the deep low a little bit, adjust the curves here, make the small adjustments in this yeah, adjustment layer. Other than that, this effect is done. I'm very, very satisfied with this. And if you guys also think it looks good, don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment uh, what you guys think of this tutorial and what other tutorials I can make. I'm really curious what you guys want to learn more of. And also don't forget to check out my website, editingvisuals.com, where I have a bunch of editing packs that's going to help you out with your editing. Check out my socials, join my Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.